Over the past few years, there has been a disturbing trend out there. It seems like Ubuntu is not as popular as it once was. Ubuntu, for many, many years, used to be unquestionably the most popular Linux distribution on the desktop. But in the last couple of years, it seems like it's losing steam. And Arch Linux has really gained some momentum, gained some steam. And this begs the question, is Arch Linux the new Ubuntu? That's our topic for the day. So this is something that personally I have noticed over the last number of years that more and more people actually install Arch these days. And it used to be, you know, 10, 15 years ago, Arch was very much an elitist kind of distro. It was definitely for the power user. You see a lot more even new users sometimes installing Arch, but, you know, people that have spent six months in Linux, you know, not exactly Linux ex experts. For the most part, they're still kind of novices, but they're running Arch or they're running one of the many Arch derivatives that are out there. And these days there's a million of them out there and quite a few really good ones. And it seems like Arch has just exploded in popularity, especially I would say in the last five years. And Ubuntu just doesn't have that same pop anymore, right? It's, it's, nobody's really that excited about Ubuntu the way it was really back in what I would say its heyday it was, you know, that 2006, 2008 kind of era where it really kind of exploded on the scene and people were excited because it was going to be the Windows killer, right? It was going to be the Linux distro that finally brought Linux to the masses, especially at a time when Windows was putting out things like Vista. When you check out YouTube, for example, people that do Linux content on YouTube, how many of them are running Arch or an Arch-based derivative? How many of them are running Ubuntu or an Ubuntu derivative? Think about that. When I converse with the community uh, over on Mastodon or in IRC or wherever it is, I talk Linux with other Linux users. A much higher percentage of those users are running Arch Linux than what I, I would say mainstream media would, would have you believe, what you know your typical Linux public publications especially would have you believe, but also in some cases what some Linux personalities, especially Linux YouTubers, would have you believe. There are some Linux YouTubers out there that really push things like Ubuntu and especially things like Linux Mint and like it's the only option for the beginner Linux user. And, of course, that's patently false, right? And, and so many of us have been out there preaching that, is that, hey, have you, have you seen Arch? Arch makes things so much easier in many cases than distros like Ubuntu and things like Mint. And it's starting to come to fruition because there's actually some data that backs this up a little bit. So I came across this article from BoilingSteam.com and the article's titled, We Don't Game on the Same Distros No More. So <laughs> other than the poor grammar and the title, uh, what he's talking about here is a gaming on Steam. So he's taking a look at some stats from ProtonDB and he's got a little chart here. Let me take a look at this chart. I'll blow it up a little bit for us. So this chart basically goes back until October of 2018. Of course, ProtonDB hasn't been around that long, but you can see that when they first started having these stats, Ubuntu clearly was king as far as popularity at 43.7%. Makes sense when Steam first came on the scene, Steam for Linux, you know, they were really uh, pushing Ubuntu and Debian, which Ubuntu is Debian based. But you can see a clear trend as more and more people are using Steam and especially Proton and needing things like the latest drivers, the latest Mesa and NVIDIA and things like that, the latest libraries. Static release distros like Ubuntu. They just don't cut it anymore. As a matter of fact, they make your life much more difficult because now you have to add a lot of PPAs, maybe build something from source, which nobody likes doing that, right? Where Arch, everything is in the repos. You will never find a piece of software that's out there for Linux, probably, that's not in the Arch repos or in the Arch user repository. So in many cases, Arch 
makes your life easier. Yes, the installation may take a little longer than your typical Ubuntu installation or Mint installation, but once you have Arch installed, your life is so much easier. And you can see the chart is starting to bear this out. So from October of 2018 to October 2019, you see a steady decline, a marked <laughs> decline in Ubuntu percentage here, uh, uh, according to the survey. And look at Manjaro is the orange color here. It started at 10.8%. And look at that increase. Wow. All the way up to 17.5%. I mean, that's, you know, like a 75% growth in Manjaro right there. Then you have Mint here, right below Manjaro. And I must say, Mint it's just kind of stagnating, not much going on, maybe even dropping slightly. Uh, makes sense. Mint is, again, Ubuntu-based static release, so people are not liking their gaming experience on Ubuntu and looking for alternatives. They're probably looking for alternatives as far as Mint and gaming as well. Now, take a look at Arch, 8.3%. And then it steadily, the numbers go up. Well, there is a drop down to 7.1 for some reason in this month. Then it's back up to 9.6, 13.8, 17%, 16.6% in the, the last month of the survey. That basically means Arch has doubled in popularity in one year, according to the survey here. Uh, Debian, Debian and it's Debian. Not too many people are using it for gaming. Debian stable, 4%, pretty much stays that way. Uh, Pop OS only appears about halfway through the survey, and it does gain a little bit of momentum. It started at 5.6% right here, and that would be April of 2019, and ended with 6.9% in November 2019, the last month of the survey. Fedora, 3% uh, pretty much all the way across. Solus hanging out at 2%. So what is the takeaway from this chart? Well, it's only one year, so I don't know if you can make any just crazy sweeping generalizations, but there's some things you can be certain of. Ubuntu is definitely not as popular as it once was. It's been losing popularity. You kind of see that when you talk to the community, when you just get a gauge of the Linux mind share out there. Ubuntu is not the hot item it once was. And clearly the chart shows that as far as gaming, uh, who's benefiting from all these Ubuntu refugees? Where are the Ubuntu guys going? Well, clearly it's Manjaro and Arch, right? With basically like 17%, both Manjaro and Arch have 17% of uh, ProtonDB, the uh, analysis here. So between the two, I mean, that's like 35% of those surveyed just on those two Arch based distributions. Mint just seems to be going nowhere. It's slowly eroding. Mint as a distro, I, again, I've not, I've never seen much of a point to Mint. It's basically just Ubuntu with a different desktop environment. I know people get mad at that. Debian Stable is a fantastic distribution for the server. Debian Stable, not that great for just desktop use, especially when you need the latest and greatest packages for something like gaming, Debian Stable is completely inappropriate. I'm surprised Fedora wasn't higher on the chart because Fedora is a static release distribution, has a release uh, about every nine months or so, but you know, when it has its release, of course, it has the latest and greatest packages, so I'm surprised it wasn't higher. I'm also very surprised that Solus only 2% because Solus is a quasi rolling release distribution and Solus prides itself on being a gaming distribution. They work hard, especially on Steam integration in Solus. But again, I'm not sure, you know, if the chart really tells us that much. It's only one year. Uh, I, I don't think you can make any hard and fast judgments other than you do see some very clear trends. Ubuntu is going this way. Arch is clearly going that way, right? And I, I think it makes sense. I think Arch is attracting more users due to its lack of clutter, its lack of bloat. This is starting to become more and more important to a broader audience, right? It's certainly important to the more minimalist crowd, you know, the enthusiasts, the power user, people like me, but it's also important with just regular desktop users and especially in this case, gamers. Gamers, some, they, they just want to open up Steam or whatever gaming platform they're on and not be distracted by all that unnecessary cruft that is installed on those other distros. I think that's becoming more and more the user experience most people want. I think that the fact that 
it's no longer important for Linux to mimic Windows and Mac OS X, right? The dominant operating systems these days are not the desktop operating systems of the past, which were Windows and Mac, right? The dominant operating systems today, of course, are mobile operating system. So to today's youth, Windows is probably as foreign as Linux, so why make your Linux look like Windows, right? Make Linux something unique, and certainly Arch is very unique. Also, I think the demographic of the new-to-Linux user is starting to change. Being a new-to-Linux user back in 1999, for example, is very different to being a new-to-Linux user in the year 2019, right? The population at large is much more tech-savvy than they were in 1999, right? Because we've had 20 plus years more experience with computers. Also, the dis distributions you were installing in 1999 were much more difficult to install than distributions, obviously, in 2019. Arch included, right? Arch is much easier to install than a lot of the distros, even the more user-friendly distros were to install back 20 years ago. I think all of that kind of contributes to its growing popularity. I also think, obviously, there's the fact that you achieve legendary elite status, right, <laughs> from your peers when you install Arch, when you're running Arch. I mean, this is huge. It is especially huge for the gamers, since we're talking about gaming, right? Well, I mean, the big thing in gaming is street cred. Street credibility is everything. I have to be better than you at the game. I have to be better than you at life, right? And I have to run a Linux distribution that portrays my superiority to you. So what do you guys think? I, I don't know. I'm just rambling on, but is Arch the new Ubuntu? If you think so, please respond with, by the way, in the comments. Before I go, this show was made possible by Alex, Ansem, Chris, Daniel, David, DJ, Donnie, Dylan, George, Haplo, Nate, Corbinian, Lambda, Liam, Mitchell, Natek, Rob, Robert, Sean, Willie. They are the producers of the show. These guys are my highest tiered patrons over on Patreon. Also brought to you by all those other fine ladies and gentlemen, all those names you see on the screen that help support my work over on Patreon. Again, a sincere thank you to each and every one of those folks. Without them, this episode about Arch being awesome wouldn't have been possible. If you'd like to support the channel, please consider doing so. You'll find me at DistroTube over on Patreon. All right, guys. Peace.